Hi, this is Dr. Isaac Towell, Clinical Director here at TBS Dental. So let's go over some instrumentation, techniques, and some terminology when it comes to extracting teeth. This tooth happens to be root canal. It's endodontically treated. It's most likely ankylitic, meaning it's fused to the bone itself. So this should be quite a difficult extraction. And this should take a very long time. Often, clinicians may pick up piezo instruments, burrs, all different types of instruments to try to extract this tooth. Fortunately, the Alvatom can do this as well. Without having to use any expensive equipment, just using the right concept and the right instrument and the right technique, we can start to begin to mobilize the root. And again, this is not a race. We take our time and we work from different angles. We worked from the mesial, we're now working from the distal going deeper and deeper, more apical, as apical as we can, and always we want to stay away from the buccal aspect. We use the mesial, distal, or palatal lingual aspect. We never like to go and rest on the buccal plate because if we put force on the buccal plate, it's likely that we could fracture the buccal plate. So we work those three other walls. And then once we begin to mobilize the root with Alvatome, we can then pick up our Frings forcep, of course, keeping our finger on the hinge itself so we can get deeper and deeper and then provide rotational movement. This was a crown tooth. What you'll notice is even a crown tooth cannot escape the serrations of the Frings. And these are the BTG Frings, which get deeper and deeper into that periodontal ligamental space and provide easy access for us to ergonomically extract the tooth. What you'll notice is a nice, clean extraction site, which can then be used with curettes and grafted for ensuring a good solid ridge for complete minimally traumatic extraction.